Hey dupe, so we made it to Salt Springs and this is gonna be our campsite for the night. Yeah, it is a magnificent uh, campsite. I mean, I'd almost camp here for a whole week, it's so nice. They have a Salt Springs here with manatees and everything, um, but more importantly, there is 81 miles of Jeep Badge Honor Trail just over there. So we're gonna go do the Jeep Badge Honor Trail and then um, that'll probably be a video by itself. And then um, we'll show you what else uh, we find around this campsite. So. Uh, We'll see you guys around. So this is a little sample of what the badge on the trails are. Uh, 81 miles of this basically and uh, super tight, super sandy, and uh, really flat, everything that, that I encountered. And then there'll be a little uh, kind of sample of salt springs. So our channel is mostly on camping and traveling and kind of vlog lifestyle. Um, following us around and our Jeep and our Corgi. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That would be awesome um put comments below if you have any kind of questions about anything i'm usually pretty prompt with trying to answer um pretty much anything you type so if you see something and you're interested in it just just let me know and uh, onward with uh, the campground review and so if you're following along we are um, headed to this campground from savannah georgia so we're coming from the north however no matter which direction you kind of go to this um, campground it looks pretty much the same and what you're seeing around me is actually the national forest um, in different directions and if you see like a dirt road that'll be part of the badge honor trail system so the campground is up here on the left and that's just like a little convenience store on the right that we uh, we got some ice and stuff so, um, kind of weird um, stores so anyway this is the entrance to the campground and uh, we will head in here and get set up and it is Salt Springs Recreation Area, and I believe it is part of the National Forest uh, System. So uh, that's the ranger station you go check in. And they get very upset with you if you don't check in in the first 24 hours of your reservation. And uh, we showed up like a day late, and they were kind of giving us a problem a little bit. But then when I explained to them that like we were there 30 minutes before um, the end of the reservation, like she gave me the pass anyway. and. Uh, I think she was just trying to beat me up a little bit. So anyway, so this is the base campground right here. The entrance is at the bottom. The salt springs are to the right, and then um, to the left is basically um, the campground. And we'll do a driving tour and everything uh, later on in the video. Um, but we're going to go to our site and let you see uh, our site to start with. So you leave the ranger station, and like I was saying, to the right that in that direction takes you to the salt springs, and to the left takes you to the campgrounds. And uh, the first right is the primitive camping. The second one, which is this one, is the just you just show up and, and first come first serve. And then all the rest of these are the reservation ones. And uh, they told us that we could go in um, one or two ways to get to our site. They actually said we could go in backwards if we um, didn't mind kind of backing in weird, but we went in the wrong way. And uh, so you can see that uh, all of these sites are kind of. Um, like a runway, but they're humongous sites. Like this is just kind of like a really cool, uh, a really large national park. Uh... So this is our site. Like all that amazing grass is, is part of our site. And then, um, you can see this is the, the setup that we have. So at night we went and we actually cooked on their uh, their grill. And uh, what I discovered is a grill is so bloody high up, um, it's really hard to get any heat on that grill. Um, and that's the one that came to the campground. So just, just be forewarned, um, it is difficult to um, to cook on the grills that they have there. It's just like not enough heat it felt like. So this is the other side of the park where the salt springs are. No bicycles and skateboards and I think no pets also if I remember right. And uh, there's a little store there but I think it was closed because of COVID. And the salt springs are way ahead of us. So these trees are the same ones that I, we pointed out in our Savannah video. And we saw them throughout Florida also. Um, I think they're just a Florida thing. Um, maybe somebody can tell me about the trees, um, but they seem cool. Yes, no. Hi, 
Hi everyone, we are here at the Salt River Recreational Area, uh, Salt River Springs. Uh, this is actually quite beautiful here in the morning. It's around 8 o'clock. Um, just sitting here, uh, the water's nice and warm. Um, I don't know, maybe it's around 80 degrees. Uh, you can see the steam kind of rising off the water because uh, it's definitely warmer than the, the air. It's only 50 degrees outside right now, but uh, for those of us from Virginia, this feels absolutely fabulous. As you can see, we're in shorts. Um, I don't see any manatees this morning. Um, we might have gotten out here a little too late for that. I know as a scuba diver, usually when we were diving with the manatees, we had to be up really early to actually see the manatees. Um, they don't allow scuba diving here, but you can swim with them um, if you actually catch them in the water. Um, they allow swimming here, no diving, uh, but uh, you're welcome to bring your bathing suit and uh, take a swim in the uh, Salt River Springs. It's pretty cool. It's a huge area. It's absolutely gorgeous. So they have steps all the way down with like uh, rails, but the kind of funny thing is like at the end right there, there's like a 10 foot drop. So yeah, kind of cool. I don't know if it's a 10 foot drop, but it's a big drop. Morning. 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 Just if I say no scuba diving in the rules. Oh yeah. There's a blue that one's a blue crab. This is red. There's three or four of them. Let's see that one's blue. So the rest of the video is going to be a driving tour of the campground and um, I'm going to try to put up the site numbers uh, approximately of the different areas so then uh, if you decide that you want to stay here since you can actually pick which site uh, you want on the website basically um, I want to make it so you can actually maybe look at the site and try to figure out if that's, if that's the one you want. So we're going to start with primitive camping and then we're going to jump to the um, RV camping and so if you don't care about the primitive camping or you want to go right to a spot, there's a table of contents like in the description that will take you right there or the little slider bar. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to put the little links in there so you can just jump around. The big steel boxes are there to, um, so you can put your food um, away and they're bear proof uh, boxes. To me, it seems a little spooky to be camping in a tent right next to like a bear proof box because, you know, I, I don't know. It just, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. The big um, RV that you see up here, this is a, uh, a host. So, like, the person's responsible for the campground. Um, I don't think that normally, you know, you bring like fifth wheels back here. I could be totally 100% wrong, but I think that those are hosts. You can even see the golf carts back there. And this should be just a dedicated. Um, tent only area and then uh, once we get through this uh, the next area will be the boat area So this um, road right here leads to the boat ramp, and uh, if you're a fisherman, then obviously you would want to know where this is and, and want to take a look at the boat ramp so you can get your boat in the water and uh, go fishing.
So the area to the left is the way we came, and then the area to the right um, is where we're going to explore. And we're just going to go up here and then um, loop back over to the RV camping area. So the road to the left takes you back to the main road and then obviously you go to the right to get to the RV area and that is um, where we're going to go next. So we're basically in that lower left corner and we're going to go up and down all those rows for most of the rest of the video. Um, so if you're really interested in looking at sites, like enjoy. Um, if you don't want to just watch us drive around the campground and just like thumbs up or whatever and, and take off like. <laughs> um, hopefully this is helpful for uh, people that want to pick out their site. And like I said, look in the corner. The corner has like the site numbers um, the best that I can. Um, and then the other thing to point out is the site numbers are written on the concrete asphalt. This is asphalt. They're written on the asphalt in front of each site. So as you see, we, when we go up, you can actually read the, the site numbers off them. And if it's going by too fast, just pause the video for a second and you'll, you'll read them. Like that's 79, 65, 78, 68, 77, 67. Pretty, pretty easy, peasy to do. Um, so I'll just like let it play through with some music and uh, hopefully everybody enjoys um, able to see all the sites.
Thank you.